Hello, Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today I have a huge hidden side set. It is set number 70425, the Newberry Haunted High School. This set has 1,474 pieces, seven minifigures, one ghost dog, and one build. And I do want to say I apologize for the weird camera angles. I just don't have that much space in my recording area to actually record the full set, but I'll do my best, so just bear with me. But yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at those seven minifigures. So for our first figure here, we have Jack. He comes in a lot of the sets, including the train, the uh, paranormal intercept bus, a very lot, a lot of the sets. So yeah, now we're gonna just show you the torso print. It looks pretty good. I do wish that white was better because you can see with the hoodie hat combo, which looks great. I love this piece. You can see his face, he has a confident smirk. His back face is, he's absolutely terrified and you can see it with his, um, with his hat and hood lined up right there. And then his phone print is the same. Overall, he's a pretty common figure. So now let's move on to the next figure. So our next figure here is Parker. She comes in a lot of the sets, including like the graveyard, the wrecked shrimp boat, and a few other sets. It's pretty good. I like the ripped jeans right there. Those look really cool. Her torso print looks cool with that fanny pack strapped across. I love her hair beanie combo. Her face print here, she looks happy. Her other face print, she looks terrified. And there's the rest of that um, fanny pack. And her phone print is the same. But since we've seen this figure multiple times, I don't want to spend too much time on her. So let's move on to the next. The next figure here is Mr. Elton. We've actually only got him in one other set. That was the JB's Ghost lab that's what i think it's called it's the 20 dollars hidden side set but he looks pretty good it's the same figure his face is terrified his alternate face is happy and a little bit cocky i would say but yeah he looks pretty good i love the target underneath because he is a fuego actually as well so technically we've gotten three versions of him but one was el fuego so yeah now let's move on to the next figure. so our next figure here is a random civilian her name is koala paula i don't know it's p-a-o-l-a -A. she is looks pretty cool with her um jacket there supporting newberry high's basketball team the squids i really love that and it looks pretty great there you can see the back first printing says squids um, her face print looks pretty good, and her hair looks pretty good as well. Her alternate face is really terrified, which makes sense since this is a hidden side. And, yeah, I don't have much else to say about her other than she looks pretty good. I love the torso print. That's my favorite part about this figure. The next figure here is Wade. He looks a little bit sad, but he is also supporting the Squids. I believe he is on the Squids basketball team because he has a basketball jersey that says 22. He also has a sweatshirt underneath. But he has an alternate face. We're just going to turn it around. And it's more of a happy face. A little smile there. And I like his hair piece right there. And yeah, so he's a pretty good figure. He has the short legs. I don't know why he'd be playing basketball if he had short legs. I'm kidding. He's a kid. So yeah, he does have an alternate version. This is Wade's alternate version. He does have these wings attached to him now. And he also has a very scary face. He also has Kai's hair in spring green, which I thought was pretty cool. His wings look awesome with those little um, ghost faces, as you can see. Those look awesome. And yeah, they look really cool. But that's it for the ghoulified version of Wade. Our next figure here is Rose Davids. Now, if you're wondering who is she, well, she is actually Jack's mom, as we learned in the little shorts that lego puts out on their youtube channel she ends up being jack's mom i also think she might be the principal i don't know but um she is jack's mom so now we know jack's name is jack davids which is interesting but her torso print looks really cool with that little necklace around her face here looks terrified her alternate face is more of a confident little smirk there but yeah she looks pretty cool yeah Awesome figure. I don't have much else to say. Rose Davids also has an alternate version where she does have this crazy bed head. It looks pretty awesome. There's her face print, back face print. It's just that little flame there. She looks pretty cool. I love the hair piece and it looks great. Now let's move on to the next. So for our last figure here, he is Mr. Clark and he looks pretty good. I like his torso print. I believe he is a teacher at Newberry High. His back torso printing looks pretty good. His face, you can barely see his eyes because they are yellow, but you can see them just barely. I also liked his buck teeth. His um, 
I don't know, the suit kind of looks, reminds me of Bill Nye with that blue um, bow tie. His alternate face is really scary. He is terrified. But yeah, that's it for Mr. Clark, except for his alternate. So his alternate version also has those wings that Wade has. This is the only set that comes with those wings. And also this face print, I don't know why, but it reminds me of John Oliver. Just something about it with those glasses and just the look of it reminds me of John Oliver. I don't know what it is. But um, his hair piece only comes in one other set, that's the graveyard. So it is nice to get this in that in this set. But he looks pretty scary with his glutified version. I love those wing pieces. I think those are awesome with the little claws there. But yeah, that's it for the figure. Right, this figure here is Spencer. He is a pretty cute little ghost dog. I love the look of him and he comes in all the sets except for the ghost train. But yeah, that's great. Now let's move on to the builds. So since this is such a big build, it's really tall. Like I'm just gonna slowly show you the full scale of this. This thing is really giant. It's huge, it's really awesome. And because of that, I cannot show the full thing in one shot. So what I'm going to do instead is just show you each little detail one by one, starting with this front area. Starting off with the first section here, we have a bus stop here that has a bus sticker that says 23 in the top which is quite funny because that is the number of the cool bus or the ghost the paranormal intercept bus 3000 that is another set so i found that pretty cool there's also this little bench here and it looks pretty good there's some dead bushes around here and then a little lamp right here they have the actual sort of school building this is the front like wall here it's a little bit brought out with these pieces here which look awesome there's some foliage here they have a little balcony i guess where students can stand and whatnot and then there's a window there that you can open up from behind let's just show you that boom there you go right here is the doorway you can't really see inside because it's such a far passageway we're just going to adjust the lighting just a tiny bit so you get a better view there's some steps there that lead up there, and the door is open right now, but you can shut it. Let me just find where it is. It's kind of hard to get, but... Oh, it's on the other... Nope. I don't know where the door is, <laughs> but yeah. The next part of the school section is the other wall here. Again, it's just a little wall with some foliage. I guess that must have fallen over. And then there's also another little panel right there that you can open from inside. But... Now let's take a look at, I guess, the middle section. Oh wait, there's one more thing that I just realized. There is this little sticker of some wood, and when you bring that down, there is a yellow little color showing right there, and that's interacted with the app. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted there. I almost forgot about that, but the tree build is kind of cool. The roots stick out a bit, and yeah, now I guess... Um, we can move on to this uh, next section. Actually, I do want to say before, I don't know if you can really see it, but the only problem I have with these balconies is that students can't actually get inside because there is a little um, plate right there. Oh, I found the door. <laughs> that was going inside, but there's the door. <laughs> that took a while, but yeah, now let's take a look at the next level of the outside. The outside has some more of those balcony pieces. There's a sticker of Newberry High. It has a little clock that can spin. A bit there's a little balcony up here you can't really get inside but yeah there's some stickers there and you can put a figure up there the other side is again one of those walls there and they do use stickers for those bricks there's a lot of stickers in the set most of them are tiny little details and then of course for the top here you have stickers on the roof you got the little bell right there a little bat on the top and then more of that this one's crooked you can also fix it but it's supposed to be crooked but yeah, I guess now let's show you the interior of this school. So for the interior, I thought I'd start with this side and then we'll move over to this side. So right here up front, you can already see they have a little cart, which is taking all the focus. But um, it has a little coffee cup, a hot dog, and then a bottle. This does have wheels, so you could roll it around if you want. And then you can also put it there. There is the spinner that interacts with the app right there. And it's hidden very nicely. You would not even expect that spinner to be right there. It's hidden very nicely. Unfortunately, you can see the colors on the sides, but it really doesn't matter. It's hidden very well. Right here, they do have a little um, entryway, which does have spots for your minifigures. And then the door that I couldn't open there. 
and that or close are fine basically earlier you can also move this forward and backwards which is a play feature and that i'll show you later on what that does behind this little food cart here they have a little um we're just going to take it off because it's only on a round two by two jumper they have a sticker here that says um, pizza three dollars hot dog two dollars and a croissant one dollar there's the croissant this is like a little mini fridge you could probably put some drinks in there this one i'm also going to take off just to give you a better look at it it is just there's a cherry and a banana in the little freezer there they have a pizza two cupcakes and then some drinks right there and that is a nice little cafeteria build over here though they do have a bathroom which is nice because we never get bathrooms in lego stuff I mean, it's really rare. I mean, we do sometimes. And you can open this up and you get a little plunger, a toilet, and then some toilet paper. It also says boy, girl right there. And it there is enough room for a figure to sit, though their heads would pop up. I'm trying to find out where I have a figure. I think I have one over here. Nah, I can't reach her. Oh, well. But yeah, the figure's heads just stick out. And um, over here, now we're gonna move on to the other side. This is a very interesting build. So right here they have one of those like ghost tables where they pinpoint all the ghost sightings and then they find a center location, which sort of reminds me of something from like Ghostbusters and stuff. That's pretty awesome. They do have a nice carpet design with four seats for your minifigures. Right here they have a grandfather clock, which are two stickers. They also have these stickered pieces. I'll show you where these come from later on in this review, but they're just like little books with, um, ghost sightings and stuff they also have um colors on the back for the app to scan i think this one's upside down here let's see a little focus there you go yeah looks pretty cool and then here they have a little barrel um nothing's inside of it so i don't know what that's supposed to do and then also i just want to say there was a clip here for those books that you can prop up against and then also right here, there is a little library built. I like the shaping of this. It has some nice little book designs and it is a little bit wobbly, which is a play feature. Again, I'll show you all the play features later on. There's also a spot to put your minifigure, but I don't have much else to say for the down area of this set. It looks pretty cool. I do love all the builds down here. This is more the cafeteria and bathroom area the classroom is on the upstairs level which i'll show you right now so for the next section of this build it is the second floor here they actually have the classroom so right here they have a little biology lab as i would say because they have a little skeleton for biology purposes here they have a sticker of the periodic table of elements and then there's also a sticky note there that says 3.14 for pi and then here they have a sink for water to go down they have some little potions here again for probably biology or anatomy or some other thing and then here they have a little trophy case which looks awesome with those pieces there there's also spots for minifigures but this i found funny it's a sticker that says help wanted and then it says jb probably for ghost hunting purposes and one of the little flyers is taken probably from jack or parker because they end up working with jb here they have uh, more, I just said, I was going to say here's they have a trophy case, but I already said that. I do like the use of a pan there for a trophy. I found that interesting, along with the cup. That's also interesting. They have another sticker there. I don't know what it's for. They have a chalkboard here. Looks pretty good. Yeah, awesome. And it does have some little um, equations and a bunch of other stuff. Again, there's pi, a cross-off equation. I guess they did that wrong. There's E equals MC squared. Just some recognizable little equations. They have another spot for a teacher such as Mr. Clark. He can stand right there. And then you have spots for um, your uh, students. I'm just going to put a student there and they can just sit there. I love the detailing on the chairs. They do have some more little um, stickered signs right there. Here they have a little computer lab, I guess, where you can research stuff. They have a recycling bin there. A picture of Albert Einstein. And then here they have a little PC, and I believe that's the engine for the PC. Up here are those book builds I was telling you about. I just decided to put them up here in between the clips. They just slide up there, and it's part of a play feature that I'll show you in a bit. I don't have much else to say of this upstairs section, other than it's really cool with all the builds. I do have to say, though, you can flip these up, these little banners with trophies and 
flags and stuff, and it reveals four different colors that interact with the app and probably show a boss. But now that we've taken a look at the interior and exterior, now let's take a look at the hidden side of this set. So what I would first do is since we're in the inside, we can push that up right there. That is the bell, since you can't really see it. There we go, now you can see it. I pushed it up. Now what I can do is I actually rotate. We're gonna move Mr. Clark here out of the area. We're gonna rotate this and it reveals a really scary picture. So what happened here was it rotated around and it reveals this spring green teddy bear. This is a special spring green piece in the set. And then here it shows a picture of a little girl with the teddy bear before it was possessed. And then there is the Lady E sticker. So that's great. I love that. And yeah, awesome. Um, now let's show you the rest. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to flip up these and these little books fall. That's why I was saying I was clipping them down there. We're going to come down to this area down here. Oh, Mr. Clark is right there. We're going to push this in. We're going to push down the bathroom and the library and I'll show you what that does. Now we start to reveal the hidden side aspect of this. So when we push down that bookcase, it pushed out these claws, which you can easily reload by flipping them back and then putting that back in. Um, the mouth opened when I pushed in those stairs and it reveals some creepy stickered pieces here and as well as some teeth. The bathroom opened up another claw. Now when I, re when I flipped those down, it revealed some flames here. And now the last thing that we need to do is we're gonna take this clock and we're gonna go boom and it reveals some spooky eyes. So now I'm gonna show you some pictures of this hidden side and then regular so that you get the full view of this set. I also totally forgot to mention in this, you can flip that the bench up to reveal a tiny little spooky monster. I love that little tiny feature there. But yeah, now I will show you the pictures of the hidden side of the set and the regular of the set. So I feel like that was the best review I could do of that set. I feel like I covered everything. I hope I did. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I think I got everything though. But here's the box. I had to move because this is a huge box. I mean, just look at the size of this. And the artwork of this is absolutely awesome. I don't know what Mr. Elton's doing up on that tree, but there he is, I guess. And it looks really cool. I love the artwork on this and it's great. Now we're gonna flip the box over. Boom. You got an awesome little build right there. I heard build. <laughs> what am I even saying? Man, it's been a long day. But it has an awesome little picture of the school. I love this little thing where it shows the ghost coming out of the bathroom. It shows Wade turning into a ghost. It shows the eyes. It shows the um, set all hidden side and then regular. And then here it shows the app. Yeah, it looks really cool, but that's it for the box. Now let's look at the instructions and then my final verdict. So for the instructions, this is literally like a chapter book. Holy cow, this is a very thick magazine It or instruction manual. It has 307 pages. That is a lot of pages. And it tells you how to build it. And we're just gonna skip to the end. And here we have the... Um, it shows where you put those little booklets, it shows that they fall out when you flip that back, and then it shows the haunted or hidden side set of this, and then the back of it, non-haunted um, app. And then, surprisingly, there was no ads to the other sets, unfortunately, but there was a huge amount of the part list, four pages of part list and then the win. So that's it for this chapter book. <laughs> now let's move on to my final verdict. So for my final verdict, I really like this set. This set is $120, which does seem like a lot, but considering all the big pieces that you get, like these claws and the amount of pieces of $1,400, that's a really good price to part ratio right there. You also get some really awesome minifigures of these ghoulified figures with the wings, which look pretty cool. You get um jack's mom which is pretty awesome and just the idea of a school is very interesting because 
The last time we actually got a Lego school was a Lego friend set. And that was more targeted towards a girl audience, which is kind of annoying. But now we actually have a good school and it does a really good job of hiding every single hidden side aspect of it. Like you can hide this little bench and you would never know there are teeth there. I mean, you can't really see it since it's in the corner. Let me find it. You could hide these eyes and you would never know there were two eyes behind there. It's really great how they in just really included the augmented reality part of these sets and the hidden side aspect of it. It's really great. I just love this set. I think everything about it is really great. I don't have anything to really complain other than a, the hands. Those are really frustrating. I don't know, I just really don't like those hands, how they're yellow and not like a different color. But I don't know how much you can do about it. Another complaint is the amount of stickers. I think there was, I don't exactly know how many stickers there were in the set, but there was a lot and it, there definitely didn't need to be this many stickers. And just there's th three stickers here, three stickers here, three stickers here, three stickers here. Like right there, that's 12 stickers, not including those windows that have the broken glass and stuff, not including any other stickers. So that's another complaint. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about this review. I have to give up uh, this <laughs> set, not review. Man, I am going, I'm really tired. I'm going insane. But um, yeah. And that's all I have to say about this set. This is a really good set. I would recommend it. It's a really great set. It's a great school build. I mean, even though it is the dollhouse style, you know, like where you just have the back and there's no enclosed version of it. It's still really great. It's a great school. I would give this an A minus only because of the stickers, really. There's just a lot of stickers. There didn't need to be that many stickers. But that's it for this review. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts about this set in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.